hello, I am Dr. Riaz. Uh, I am working as a senior consultant in Department of Hematology, Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, Rohani, New Delhi. I have been trained as a hematologist in one of the leading medical college in South India, CMC Vellore, where I got my hematology training. My special interest is in thalassemia major bone marrow transplants. I look forward in treating these patients with much enthusiasm and expect as much as patient of thalassemia can be cured. Sir, uh, what is the thalassemia major, sir? So, coming to this uh, thalassemia major, thalassemia major is a genetic disorder in which a person which is born manifests signs of anemia within three to four months of life. The patient will have fatigue, he will look pale, and he will have failure to thrive. The pa parents notice their child anemic, they will look the child will look pale and they consult the doctors and where he is diagnosed as thalassemia major once they do the HB electrophoresis or variant analysis on the peripheral blood smear. Uh, how can thalassemia major treat it? Thalassemia major once diagnosed uh, is can be treated at medical, there is medical management and one is a curative that is bone marrow transplant. Now, medical management is you have to keep transfusing blood that is packed cell once in every two to four weeks to maintain the lower hemoglobin at nine and after 10 to 15 transfusions when the iron level goes up you have to give iron chelators that is medicines to remove iron from his body so the iron side effects of iron is not seen on the body. So you have to keep transfusing the blood and keep removing the iron. This is one way to go. Throughout his life, he will be requiring blood transfusions and drugs to remove the iron. Also, he will require some other additional support like multivitamins, calcium, folic acid for his normal growth. Now, this is not a curative as it has got its own side effects. Blood transfusions, in spite its in a country like India, it's difficult to get a donor. Okay, the testing of the blood, even if it is all the testing has been done in my good laboratory, the history has been taken from the donor. In spite of that, patient one of thalassemia when he is getting blood transfusion and again and again, there is always a chance of getting hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. Plus, the iron overload, the medicines may not be that effective or the patient may not be able to tolerate. So what I more prefer and I advise to my patients is for cure, go for a curative treatment as early as possible. The patient once diagnosed within one year or within two year of diagnosis, if they have got an HLA match sibling, should go for thalassemia major bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant. It means the same. Now, what is bone marrow transplant and how we plan it, it I will tell you in a little bit detail. Now once we diagnose that patient is thalassemia major requiring iron uh, blood transfusions for every month to maintain his or her hemoglobin, we have to find a suitable ident uh, donor for that patient. The most suitable donor is his or her brother. So the blood sample from the patient and the donor that is brother or sister is taken 10 ml blood and this is sent to a laboratory for testing HLA. If the HLA is identical, HLA genes are identical between the donor and the patient, then we can take the substances from the donor and that can be infused to the patient. Suppose the patient is not HLA matched with the siblings, that is brother and sisters, we can also test the parents. If parents are a match, then yes, parents can also be a donor. Even if the parents and the sibling are not a match, now there are a lot of registries all over the world which gives an option of getting matched unrelated donor transplant, that is mud transplants, 
we can procure the stem cell identical stem cells all over the world mainly from US Germany Europe that stem cells can be brought to India and can be infused to the patients this way this is one of the it's a one of a way to cure thalassemia now the testing is generally it takes some 20,000 rupees for the testing for 15,000 uh, is the current charge over the period of time it will uh, come down for the patient and 7,000 for the uh, donor per donor after that when we plant BMT we give some medicine so that his or her original bone marrow is destroyed and in the meantime the donor gives the stem cells and that is infused via Hickman line which is a central line inserted inside his body through that uh, Hickman line the stem cells are infused the patient stays in a BMT room or HEPA filter room uh, for a period of almost 25 to 30 days and once the patient engraft engraft means when his the stem cell starts working and the TLC WBC count starts improving and it is more than 1500 we discharge the patient and follow up in the OPD during this period patient is prone to infections and bleeding so a lot of care has been taken in this period so that patient doesn't get that even if the patient get infections has to be treated with appropriate antibiotics antifungals once outside BMT because the patient is being on immunosuppression the patient is monitored closely twice thrice a week should be seen by a treating physician monitor his uh, immunosuppression levels and this goes for another one year six months full immunosuppressions and then we start tapering the immunosuppression for another six months if there is no signs of graft versus host disease or any signs of graft rejection the patient is off medications after a year and after this the patient is can be symptomless will not require any transfusions and can lead a normal life hello everyone I am dr. Riaz Ahmed working as hematologist in Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute New Delhi Previously, I was working as associate professor in CMC Bellor. Since last two years, I have been working in Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute as BMT physicians. Apart from executing transplants for various malignancies, I have got special interest in performing BMT for patients of thalassemia major. This work I have been doing since last two years and intend to carry out further. Dr. What is thalassemia? Thalassemia is a rare genetic disorder in which patients have low hemoglobin. There are three different types of thalassemia. First is thalassemia minor, second is thalassemia intermediate, and third is thalassemia major. The thalassemia major is the main manifestation of the disease. Patients of thalassemia major require monthly blood transfusion to maintain their hemoglobin. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Riaz Ahmed working as hematologist in Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, New Delhi. Previously, I was working as associate professor in CMC Velour. I have joined Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute two years back. Apart from doing bone marrow transplant for various blood cancers, I have got special interest in treating thalassemia major. In last two years, I have performed more than 10 bone marrow transplant and by God grace everyone is doing fine now question comes what is thalassemia now thalassemia is a rare blood disorder in which the hemoglobin is low patients of thalassemia major have less their hemoglobin to maintain their life to maintain their life they require blood transfusions every month now the question is asked frequently but to me by patients is doctor how do you treat is there any cure for this thalassemia now thalassemia is treated and thalassemia is sorry hello everyone i am dr riaz ahmed working as consultant hematologist in rajiv gandhi cancer institute new delhi previously i was working as associate professor in department of hematology CMC Bellor. 
Since last two years, after joining Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, besides doing transplants for various blood cancers, I have performed transplants in patients suffering from thalassemia major. Now, thalassemia major is a disease in which the patient's hemoglobin is low and they require regular monthly blood transfusion to maintain their normal hemoglobin so that their life goes on. Thalassemia major is a rare blood disorder and it's a rare disease. Now, patients of thalassemia major can be treated and can be cured also. Treatment of thalassemia major is giving them regular blood transfusion so that the minimum hemoglobin is maintained around 8 to 9 and after 10 to 15 blood transfusions when their serum iron level goes high, so that is serum ferritin goes more than 1500 can be started on iron chelators. The iron chelators is required so that iron which is being transformed through blood transfusions can be reduced to a basic minimal level or this iron will have various manifestations on the body. It can damage liver, it can damage heart, it can cause damage to brain and it can cause retardation in growth. Hence, the treatment of thalassemia major is giving them regular blood transfusions, maintaining their hemoglobin above 9 and 9 gram percent and giving them iron chelators to reduce their serum ferritin level. Now, this has to go on throughout their life. If managed properly, if managed Carefully, the patient of thalassemia major can get these blood transfusions at various medical centers provided by the government or any private institute and in the supervision of any hematologist or any pediatrician, this iron chelators can be given. For curing thalassemia major, unfortunately, we have only one procedure that is bone marrow transplants. Bone marrow transplant has been done in India in various centers across the globe. This is one of the only successful way to treat thalassemia major. Now thalassemia major, the patient of thalassemia major can undergo bone marrow transplants very easily, successfully and this is a very easy successful procedure. Once patient has been diagnosed as thalassemia major, I would recommend bone marrow transplant for the patient as early as the possible. The requirement of the donor is that he should or she should be minimum 2 years of age, not the patient. The donor should be 2 years and more. Who can be the donor for bone marrow transplant for the patient of thalassemia? Brother, sister, if they are actually matched, that is one of the genetic tests that is DNA test, if they are HLA matched to the patient, they can be donor. There is no risk to the donor and they can easily give their bone marrow or the stem cells and which can be transfused to the patient of thalassemia major. What is the minimum age at which we can do the transplant? There is no minimum age. As early as possible, 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, earlier the better. There has been various studies which have shown that earlier patient that is class 1 thalassemia major the, if the BMT is performed, they show better results. Uh, on the other hand, the class 3 thalassemia major patients have, compared to class 1 major patients, have inferior results. So my message to the society, if you have no a thalassemia major uh, patients, you should go for bone marrow transplant as early as possible, if there is an HLA match sibling in the family. It's not that the, if there is no family donor available, there is no hope for those patients. Even for those patients, there are various registries all over the world from which we can procure identical 100% matched stem cells and that can be done, to the, uh, bone marrow can be done at our center. What exactly we do? Now after we identify the donor for the patient of thalassemia major, we admit the patient in our BMT unit, give some medications so that his, orig his or her original bone marrow is destroyed. And in the meantime, we harvest the stem cells from the donor and it in infused in a proper adequate time. Now, this harvest is just like simple bone marrow donation which can be done in operation theater or it can, if it is done through peripheral blood stem cells which can be taken in a blood bag. Now, after this stem cell is procured, we see 
the quality and the quantity of the stem cells and after which we infuse this stem cells it is just like a blood transfusion this is infused via hickman line which is inserted to the patient once infused inside the donor it will take minimum 14 to 21 days for engraftment that is the stem cells to form a new blood new normal blood so that the tlc starts increasing from 100 and it goes more than 1500 during this period when the his wbc count is less it can be as low as 100 and the platelet can be as low as 10000 patient can have signs of infection they can have bleeding manifestations not all patients have but some patients can have during this period patients is managed with antibiotics and they are given adequate blood and platelet transfusions after engraftment that is once the stem cell starts working the patients are given adequate immunosuppressions and and discharge on oral immunosuppression immunosuppressive medicines now this immunosuppressive medicines is given for a minimum of six months that is in full dose and after six months this if there is no signs of craft versus host disease or there is any signs of craft failure this medication is tapered over next six months now once they are discharged they are monitored regularly in the opds and if required if there is a signs of infection again they have to be admitted generally the patient of thalassemic major tolerate the bmt very well they uh, tolerate the immunosuppressive medicines very well once after one uh, one they complete one year course of immunosuppressions they are taken off the medication that's the best part of bone marrow transplants in thalassemia unlike other transplants like kidney transplant liver transplant in which the patient has to continue this immunosuppressive medicines throughout their life but the patient of thalassemia major once the graft is working well the immunosuppressive medicines will be minimum six months to maximum of one year and that's it that they can be have a full cure now questions are asked whether the, these patients can lead a normal life yes they have a very good outcome if transplanted early or they have no graft versus host disease these patients can lead a normal life they can be as normal as anyone we have transplanted few patients as low as two years old and believe me they will not even know that they have been transplanted and few years they will be going regularly to schools like any other child and can lead a normal life what is the cost of bone marrow transplants bone marrow transplant can cost from 8 lakhs to 15 lakhs in various centers we have been doing this transplant in our centers and uh, approximately cost is around 8 to 10 lakhs in first three to six months and depending on the complication it may increase now this other questions which i have been asked through my career is is there any risk to the donor no there is no absolutely 100 percent sure there is no risk to the donor donor can be this only requirement of donor is donor should be of minimum two years of age now other questions which i frequently is being asked is after this vigorous process of bmt after this uh, patient undergoing bmt will they be going to the schools normally will they be doing jobs will be to marry will they have any complication long-term complications no there will be no complications in once the patient is off immunosuppressions if the patient the graft is working well the patient can go to the school they can attend right schools and colleges regularly he can be very good student there is no impact on the quality of life yes there is data patients can have developed later some or the other but it can happen as to any other patients finally i will say once if there is a patient of thalassemia major what you know or is there in your family going for regular blood transfusion and chelation is a very hectic task in india yes there are a lot of patients on these things but my message to them is earlier the better go for bone marrow transplants if you have an HLA mass siblings and if you have got the finances for mud transplant you should go for matched unrelated stem cell transplant from various other registries which is available thank you